In my 2012 review, I explored the role healthy diet may play in preventing, treating, and reversing our deadliest diseases. In 2013, I covered our most common conditions. This year, I'd like to address some of our leading causes of disability. What we eat doesn't just affect cancer risk in the colon. Why do constipated women appear to be at higher risk for breast cancer, whereas women who have three or more bowel movements a day, super poopers I call them, <laughs> sounds like an ABBA song, doesn't it? <laughs> appear to cut their risk of breast cancer in half. Um, this could be because constipation means a greater contact time between your waist and the, and the intestinal wall, which can increase the formation and absorption of fecal mutagens, these compounds that can cause DNA mutations and cancer, into the circulation and then into the breast. We know that breasts actively take up chemicals from the bloodstream, so research is concerned that, uh, that substances originating in the colon might enter the bloodstream and reach the breast, specifically bile acids which are formed as a way of getting rid of excess cholesterol. Our liver dumps bile acids into the intestines for disposal, assuming our intestines will be packed with fiber to trap it and flush it out of the body. But if we haven't been eating whole plant foods all day, it can get reabsorbed back into the body and then build up in the breast. Carcinogenic bile acids are found concentrated in the breast at up to 100 times the level found in the, breast stream, in the bloodstream. They just uh, concentrate it, pull it out of the system. By radioactively tagging bile acids, they were able to show that intestinal uh, bile acids rapidly gain access to the breast where they can exert an estrogen-like, cancer-promoting effect on breast tumor cells. This could explain why we see 50% higher bile acid levels in the bloodstream of newly diagnosed breast cancer victims. So, how can we facilitate the removal of bile acids from our body? Well, we could speed up the so-called oral anal transit time, the speed at which food goes from mouth to toilet, because slowed colon transit can lead to increased absorption of bile acids. We can speed things up by eating lots of fiber. Right? A diet packed with plants greatly increases bile acid excretion. Fiber can bind up and remove toxic elements like lead and mercury, as well as cholesterol and bile acids. But plants can even bind bile acids independent of fiber. Vegan diets had significantly more bile acid um, uh, bind up, significantly more bile acid than lacto-ovo or, or uh, non-vegetarian diets, even at the same fiber intake, right? which could explain why. It appears that individuals eating vegetarian might excrete less mutagenic, less mutation-causing feces in the first place. 